Hello, my name is Andrea Ahmed. I'm technology investor and financial manager, and this is your Money in Motion. On this episode, we take a closer look at the cultured meat market. As you may recall, on the last episode, Averaging the Averages, Best Guess, global culture meat market is about 153 million at 15% compound average growth rate. Although it is a $100 million market, what caught our eye was the double-digit growth. What is it? The culture meat production is by using the regenerative medicine techniques. Let's review the production process of cultured meat. One, cell lines are produced and created to be used indefinitely. Animal cell lines have been developed or purchased and are stored in cell banks. When a batch is made, the cells are thawed in tiny shaking flasks and transferred to seed trained bioreactors. Two, cell develop in trained seed bioreactors in nutrient-rich media. Cells are transferred down this seed train into progressively larger bioreactors as their volume and density rises. In the primary bioreactors, cells reach the desired density. When cells reach the desired density in the main bioreactors, the bioreactors are drained into centrifuges for harvesting, which achieves a balance between cell volume and batch time. Four, cells are collected using centrifugation. The cells is separated from the media in a contiguous centrifugation, resulting in low concentration of media in the collected cells. Five, cells are harvested, harvested and readied for distribution. Meat cells are distributed and processed in a variety of ways, depending on the ultimate product. Cells are combined with other adjectives to obtain the appropriate texture before being molded and packaged for storage and distribution. Based on source, the culture meat market is segmented into five types, beef, poultry, seafood, pork, and duck. By 2029, the poultry segment is expected to remain dominant in terms of overall market share and in terms of revenue. This is because of the increasing popularity of poultry products in a variety of quick-serve restaurants, which prompted producers to develop new alternative goods to meet future meat consumer demands. Culture chicken products are projected to be less expensive than other sources and to attain a wider acceptance around the globe. As the demand of animal protein rises, so does the demand for poultry products. Think chicken nuggets and fast-growing urban populations in developing countries. According to Ken Research, country niche players constitute 90%, 90% of the total number of competition and hold 70%, 70% of the total market revenue. The leading global cultured meat companies include companies such as Upside Foods, Alf Farms, Eat Just Inc. And they are highly focused on gaining investments from research and development of new cultured meat products and the production of slaughter-free meat products. But note an interesting that 10% that represent the major global meat companies are some of the biggest investors in these niche players. Thank you. This is your money, your money in motion.